Alright YouTube, so this is a digital amplifier you can see two chips are there one and two and I think this is for the subwoofer it's a 2.1 kit well this is the Sony 4.1 uh, home theater that you have seen before let me show you the front uh, this is it and uh, one channel is here so as you guys know this thing uh, doesn't have any subwoofer controller so uh, I open this thing up well what uh, the best thing to do is uh, to connect a potentiometer at the input of the subwoofer amplifier over there and uh, obviously it's going to the power amp uh, after the low pass filter and the potentiometer would be there between the low pass filter and the amplifier well now as this is a digital amplifier so all SMD components are there and uh, these two mini chips are there so it's very hard to find uh, the input to this uh, subwoofer amp chip and uh, it's very hard to do that also find the low pass filter this one may be the low pass filter well, I'm not sure about that well, and another thing is this thing is a very new few months old so it's still in warranty so I cannot mess with the kit here so what I wanted to see is if I connect a potentiometer at the speaker output there if that's gonna work uh, because you know this thing is this box is pretty big in size and the sound is pretty heavier and louder so you cannot use it all the time especially at the night time or when you don't want to shake your room uh, that time and uh, like when you're watching uh, movies uh, or watching TV shows like uh, nighttime. So in this case, is the bus is uh, huge and uh, it's overpowered the uh, vocals and all the stuff. So that's the bad thing about this. So what I tried is this is a two-pin output for the subwoofer speaker and this thing goes inside to there so what I did is the black wire is there and this is the red wire I connected another wire uh, because I'm just testing now and connected a potentiometer here and this is a 47 K potentiometer so it's like left side this is the input coming from the kit and the middle one that's the output going to the speaker so the middle one is connected right here to this wire which is going inside to the subwoofer and the another input is here this is the pin for the subwoofer socket and nothing was connected here so I shouldered the wire here so I didn't want to take any risk of damaging any components so that's it and now let's see if it works or make any trouble alright so I have powered it up and connected to this mobile through Bluetooth so now let's check the song Right, so this is the channel here making the noise. And let's check the subwoofer.
Well, now you can hear the bus, which is at full now, this uh, potentiometer. Now let's try to reduce this. So now you can hear the bus is reduced a bit. Now it's kind of off. So the thing is, it works uh, at the end like uh, at 90 percent, 8 to 90 uh, percent. Before that, it doesn't work at all. So that's it. And now it's full. So now let's try to reduce. That's it. It's reduced now. So there is a just little bit of difference uh, in the bus. You can reduce the bus a bit and you turn the knob more to the left and the bus is completely off well now this is a 100k potentiometer and uh, let's connect this and let's see if there is any if let's see if we can find any difference in there all right so this time i connected the 100k potentiometer and uh, now let's check the sound so you can hear at this point the bus is reduced much more and if you turn a little bit more then the bus is totally cut off you can see there is no bus so you turn this turn this and after 80 percent i guess then you get the bus So there's uh, not uh, much uh, difference and uh, now let's try a bit lower valued potentiometer. Alright now I have connected a 22k you can see that potentiometer and uh, now let's check the there is any difference in the sound. So uh, in this case the response is little bit more so at the full volume there is the bus is full like it should be and then slightly reduce the volume the bass reduced a bit and uh, then again reduced a bit and then you turn it a bit and the bass reduce a bit so like three uh, times I can reduce the bus unlike uh, before because before I was turning the knob just a bit and the bass reduced and then turn it a little bit more and the bass is cut off but here turn then reduce and then turn then reduce and then turn and then after that the bus will be cut off so this is gonna work better well the heat sink is not uh, that heat, I guess. So 
there wouldn't be any problem in anything and this thing is gonna work better so let's check this on again you can hear the bus I'm reducing it and the base is reducing St still the base is there just a bit probably you can hear that and then after that cut off so the response is a little bit more in this case I'm gonna check the heat of the amplifier well, so that's it. It's uh, working fine. So that is the only way in this case to control the base. Is this box is huge and too much base. So now I can control the base using this potentiometer. So what I'm gonna do is, as I told you, this is still in warranty, so I'm not gonna mess anything up. So you can see these grills are there. I'm gonna put two wires from here inside and they will be connected there and I will uh, stick the potentiometer uh, here around this box here at the back side with the glue super glue so that will work and uh, so and also there will be any mess with the kit and this box and anything else so yeah Everyone is going to be happy, I'm going to be happy, if there is a problem, the service center, they are going to be, well, they are not going to be happy, but they are not going to be pissed, uh, and they are not going to get any excuse to not to service that or to ask for money, because I avoid the warranty, no, it's not like that, I mean, it's going to work like that. So, that's it, guys, that's uh, all for today, I uh, hope you are going to like this video, if you like it, hit the like button. Hit the like button, just a thumbs up like this, just hit it, and uh, subscribe to my channel. You can see a red logo there, right there, below this video. And um, that's it, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.